A microfabricated cell can contain trillions of atoms in a vapour phase. A single atom is like a miniature planet system, where electrons orbit around a central nucleus. But the laws of quantum mechanics only allow for orbits with very specific energies. Atoms can be used as sensors, as they're very susceptible to their surrounding environments. They react to electric fields, magnetic fields, and all kinds of radiation. Furthermore, an atom can behave like a spinning top. Due to its intrinsic spin, an atom behaves like a magnet, which remains fixed to the orientation of the spinning top. Wherever the spinning top points to, the magnet points there too. But quantum mechanics doesn't allow for all possible orientations. It can point up or down, and surprisingly, in both directions at the same time. Whenever an electric, magnetic or some kind of radiation impinges, the atom can hop from one quantum state to another quantum state, with a different energy. This combination of spinning tops, little magnets and quantum orbits of the atom make this a quantum multi-tool. To understand what these atoms experience, we can use laser light. When we hit the atoms with the right coloured laser, they will start absorbing the photons, and we get a shadow behind the atoms. If we change the colour even slightly, atoms will not see the light anymore, and there will be no absorption and no shadow. The laser light consists of a stream of quantized photons. Each photon carries a specific energy, which defines the colour of the laser light. The different atomic quantum states have different energies. A photon will only be absorbed if its energy matches the energy of an atom to jump from one quantum state to another. An atom can not only hop from one quantum state to another, but under external perturbation, it can also shift its energy. In this case, the energy of the photon will no longer match the difference in energy between the atom's two quantum states, and the laser light will just pass undisturbed through the atom. The change of the transmitted light tells us now that something has happened to the atom. As long as we use the same type of atoms in our atomic vapour cell, there is no need for calibration or fine-tuning. As a result, we have a quantum multi-tool for physical measurements and standards.